Hey guys, this is Pax from Vancouver Dent Pro. I just wanted to uh, do uh, some short videos on just the concepts of the Standliner, how to use the Standliner tools in the Standliner way. You can use them just like any regular tool in pushing, uh, but also you can use them in some, I would say, dare to say advanced techniques, or I should just say different ways to apply it. Um, so the first tool I wanna talk about is the uh, brace spoon tool. Uh, it's something I got uh, about a month ago and this is the short one. It's about 19 inches and there's also like a 30 inch one. So in this video I'm showing four different ways how to use this tool. Um, so it does look like a spoon and it is arced. Uh, one of the things to note is that the very characteristic Stanliner-esque is that the edge of the tool is has a very specific radius around the edges whereas traditional tools it's cut pretty sharp and has a very very tight radius or maybe just a chamfer on the edge of the shave so with that um, characteristic standliner radius you can do a lot of uh, a lot of different things with it so in a tight space in twisting you actually can get um, the metal the sheet metal to travel along the sheet so I use that to draw the metal from the outside, the swells into the lows, um, and it actually can, can help unlock the dent a bit. Um, and the other thing is the tip here is actually pretty sharp. Um, so this is a really good tip for finishing and you can kind of recreate the factory texture, uh, get it really close to that. One of the things I do with it is with the really flat surface, it does have a really large radius on it. It's almost flat. So that's a really nice surface to push and drag from. Now, one thing to point out is that this is actually uh, 3 8 shaved. So this is 3 8 and this is shaved maybe uh, 5 16 here. So it's actually a pretty beefy shave tool. So you can actually, you can actually push push with it um, and it can have a lot of flex if you're leveraging here, but if you're leveraging up there, it's a really stout uh, pushing lever type of action you can get from it. So the four different ways I used it in this video, one um, was a side panel of a hail car I was working on. Um, the shot was really close to the wheel opening. So coming down from the engine bay, it's really interesting because you can lock the tip right to the edge. And as you twist it, it actually, um, it actually rolls the metal from the outside into the middle. Um, and it produces really nice uh, lift without uh, making um, inconsistent texture.
The second and third examples on a roof of the same uh, hail car, it's pretty light hail. Um, one, the first one is out in the open. Uh, so this is the short one. I used the 30 inch, the 30 inch one off of a, a window monkey bar, I guess. Um, it was a little bit far away because the dent was about maybe two feet away. So a 30 inch rod is a little bit tough to use there. But like you'll notice that this is actually three eighths and shaped to maybe five sixteenths here. So it's pretty stout. You can actually do direct pushing leverage with it. So I started off uh, with the flat side dragging into the dent. Um, and what that does, like I noticed what it does, it kind of helps unlock the dent. Uh, brings in some of the metal from the outside. It's really hard to see in the light, but as soon as you flip it over and push with this, the sharp tip, it comes out a lot easier. So that's something for you, that you guys can try. And the second roof tent was up by the back glass. Out by the back glass, there's like that really wide brace. So it's not a tight one. So this one, uh, the long one could actually fit in right across. This was uh, past halfway. One thing to note is like when you overdo it a little bit, over push, or over roll, it's really easy to repair uh, that type of uh, impression. So, I mean, we all make mistakes, but um, it's easy to fix, so it usually means easy to fix means it's faster. Uh, and then the last way I used it, the fourth way, I, uh, I had it in a old like 911, 993 uh, front fender with the headlight out. So that's the driver's side fender actually has a plastic box in there. It's not totally wide open. So this arc, uh, this shape, got right into the back of it. And that dent, I was just, well, actually it was uh, a previous repair. I was actually cleaning up some of the shape and the texture that uh, the previous technician left behind. Hey, it's, it happens, uh, you know, we're, we don't uh, ace every dent, but this was really good for cleaning it up because I didn't make any more mistakes that was already there. Anyways, I really hope you enjoy the video and hopefully you appreciate the tips and don't, don't give up. But uh, stick with it. I'm going to produce some more videos with some different tools like the crane and hopefully show some examples that kind of demonstrate how they're different. But uh, the tips are really, uh, really quite novel. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the, this, these video clips and gain something for it. Um, if you like it, throw me a thumbs up or like, share it. And uh, I'd like to produce more. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. Take care.